Hey everybody, Spine Ticks Pressing here, and I've got a great video for you today to check out. It is a Q&A interview with Dave616, also known as Make Room Collectibles. And in this interview, I'm going to talk to him about the CGC Inner Well scandal, that banana pen gate they've been talking about all over YouTube. Well, Dave616 was one of the first YouTubers, if not the first YouTuber, to identify this problem. So let's find out what he thinks about it. Before we get to it, I would just want to apologize for some of the hardware problems on my end, and I'm working on them for any future Q&As. I'll get it fixed. But the audio and the video of Dave616 is fantastic. So let's get to it! All right, everybody, we're here with Dave616, also known as Make Room Collectibles, and we're going to discuss the CGC Inner Well Crisis. So thanks for being here. We really appreciate you tuning in and checking out this video, and we'll get started with kind of this Q&A session that's going to happen between Dave and I. And uh, Dave, I got I to gotta give you props. You haven't got a lot of props, I, I feel, out there uh, from the big boy YouTube channels. I truly feel that you were the first one uh, on YouTube to recognize this problem with the CGC inner wells. So um, uh, what do you think, Dave? What do you think about this increased awareness that we're seeing now from the bigger YouTube channels? What are your thoughts on that? I think it's great. Um, I wish it had happened sooner. Uh, I first uploaded about this, I want to say two months ago i just wish that i i reached out to a couple of the bigger youtubers hoping that they would say something about mm -hmm. it um but unfortunately uh they waited until the last week or so um but you acknowledged it and automatic comics acknowledged it and i, I feel like that really started getting the ball rolling here on youtube yeah, I saw I saw your post um, on that automatic comics video. Uh, I'm not sure if you posted. I think you actually may have posted that before I did a search and found you. But, you know, I kind of came through by just, you know, my own submission came back and I was like, what the what the hell? This is not what I'm used to seeing my books look like. And then I'm like, somebody's got to have been talking about this. And then, you know, I did the search and then, and then found you. Hey, uh, Dave, you know, for those that are tuning in that know nothing about this situation can you go ahead and explain to us what exactly is this cgc inner well issue uh issue is and i i really think it's somewhere in the process of the slabbing is that the plastic inner well is warped and bending the books and if anyone hasn't seen my video yet, if I can show this. Yeah, the, there's uh, Amazing Spider-Man 252. Right there on the spine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. I see so it, it kind of curls out. You see kind of a curled ridge there yeah. coming from that spine area. Um, I've done two total submissions with CGC and they were both this year and they were both in the month. Well, one was in April and one was in May. And my first one was a high value submission and I had no issues with that. Uh, and then I sent a mm -hmm. modern submission and they all came back like that. Um, yeah. every single one. And I contacted CGC and they allowed a mechanical error return. They got them, looked at them, denied them from mechanical error. And that's when it, it all just pretty much went downhill. Um, I spoke to customer service rep after customer service rep because uh, it just wasn't acceptable. Uh, they finally decided to accept them as mechanical error. Uh, and I thought, okay, here we go. It's going to get fixed. And they actually came yeah. back in worse condition. Yeah. That's the thing that really stood out to me is that, um, 
because I kind of followed you. You you post you posted each step of this in the in the CGC forums, and then I got to that that kind of that final post where you just had it, and you're like, "Are you you know Are you kidding me? These are <laughs> these are as bad or worse than when I started." Yeah. So yeah, you know, Dave. Um, I think one of the biggest issues with the the crisis is how the books present and the grade. Uh, what do you think? What's your what's your opinion? And you posted a lot of photos. How bad do you think? Uh, how bad do the books present in the slabs? And and how bad is the damage? I can tell you that my Wolverine Limited Series One, my Amazing Spider Man two fifty two, and I'm sorry, I'm looking up at my my wall of books and yeah. my Hulk. 271 look absolutely terrible um i really am tempted to crack them out um i'm waiting to see what cgc says about all this though in, in the end um that's how bad they look that i don't even want them in the slabs and the only reason they're still in the slabs is is because i'm i'm hoping there will be some saving grace in the end yeah i uh i had that same book come back from my submission the amazing spider-man 252 the one you showed earlier and mm -hmm. uh it, it uh, you know the I, I actually got to the point where i was just laying it flat i you know normally i keep i like to keep the slabs or keep all my books upright um mm -hmm. and i just i was so concerned with the amount of stress and pressure that it was putting on the spine that i just laid it flat in the slab uh, until i could crack it out and I, i've cracked it out i'll show it to you later on you know, um, mm -hmm. I think you told me about uh, Swaggle House and Swaggle House. He's done a couple videos, but the first one he uh, he talked about uh, CGC's response. He made a video uh, where he put uh, talked about CGC's response to this whole situation. What what do you think about that response from CGC? Very corporate. <laughs> it, mm -hmm. it it felt like they. Got together with with an in house attorney or or someone they keep on retainer to help them write that. Um, th they claim they have been trying to replicate this and that they can't, but they are replicating it every time they grade and slab a modern book. So I'm not yeah, sure where the exactly. disconnect is. Um, and yeah, actually, I, I, I think I, I've got. Um, I've got a little bit of a rundown on the response that Swagglehaus posted. It was actually posted on the boards as well. Um, and then CGC Mike actually said they slightly changed their response since the video over the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can share both if, if you want to see them. Wow. Sure. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's share those. Uh, one okay. of the things I was going to mention, um, there, let's uh, let's put that up on the screen real quick. But um, you know, like you guys on the CGC forums, you it was really well documented. There were so many photos of what this situation looks like. I, it just it just seemed to me almost like the ostrich in the sand. They just buried their head. I mean, all you have to do is look at the photos in the CGC forum, and it was more than obvious what was going on with the books. So what mm -hmm. uh, what are we looking at right there? So it's uh, I see the thumbnail. Is that uh, that's the Swaggle House? Yeah, there we go. Response. That's what. So, this, yeah. So someone posted in the um, the thread, the mm -hmm. response that CGC gave to Swaggle House. Uh, we take any concerns about the quality and integrity of our holders seriously. We are aware of the reports that some inner wells exhibit a curve and while we have not seen any impact to the condition of the books customers should contact us with any examples that they may have well customers have been doing that for months now um mm -hmm. we are currently trying to replicate the issue again they're doing that every single time they grade a modern book uh, and how it occurs and how it can be prevented be prevented in the future we will follow up once we have more details uh, so that's the response that they gave Swagglehaus, but then they've edited that response uh, since the, um, saying that to Swagglehaus. And CGC Mike 
And um, you're expecting boards mm -hmm. actually. And CGC Mike, he's what uh, 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 right like an here. administrator of the boards or something like that. Uh, a forum moderator. Maybe? Yeah, he's yeah he's one of the administrators on. Yeah. Um, uh, there it is. He said our statement has changed some from the one that was posted in the video this weekend. Uh, now it is. We take any concerns about the quality and integrity of our holders seriously. Well, funny how the amount that they decided to take this seriously. Um, we are aware of the reports that some inner wells exhibit a curve. And while we have not seen any impact to condition of encapsulated books, that's a lie. Uh Please contact customer service with any examples that you may have. Again, people have been doing that for months. We are immediately deploying more quality control resources and working to rep the issue. Again, they're doing wow. it today. We will follow up once we have more details. Please reach out to customer service by calling or texting 855-GRADE-10. Yeah, I, I think I agree. It really does sound like something that, uh, you know, there's a, like, sort of a corporate lawyer ease language into it. And it's just kind of, I hate to say it, it almost feels like kind of like sweeping the problem under the rug and, and just kind of ignoring it. Because I, I think it's far more widespread than they're, yeah. they're playing on, uh, at least based on my experience. Um, I mean, I my last submission actually had some books from my uh, some of my clients as well, because I, I do the, the pressing and cleaning uh locally here and uh, and then you know your mm -hmm. experience and then all the people that posted on the on the forums it's incredible you know we talked about those um the the youtubers that, that are out there they have the big channels what do you think uh what are your thoughts on that are, are they are they downplaying this uh are they do you think they're taking this serious enough what are your thoughts i think they spent a couple of months downplaying it um but now that more people are talking about it, it almost felt like they felt obligated at this point that they had to say something. Um, with Swagglehoss and 99 Newsstand, mm -hmm. in the video I watched, um, they had talked about, well, we wanted to gather more info, more details, confirm that this is legit. I mean, my video, I think, was enough to show that this was an issue. I think by mm -hmm. then, when they finally did address this, that the 40-some pages um, on that thread was enough evidence. I, I don't know why they waited. I'm glad they're finally seeing something. Um, but at the same time, when you look at Swagglehoss and 99 Newsstands, I mean, they have connections to CGC. Um, I don't, I don't know why they waited this long. I don't know if it's because they just really don't want to get in the drama, or mm -hmm. possibly lose Possible. those connections. I, I don't know. It, it just, it. They should have. Yeah. Well, I, I guess they know. always, you always There's run that risk. risk, and and. Yeah, but well, I, I feel when you have I feel a big so channel well. like that, it, it, I feel like you have a responsibility to the community. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, yeah, I, uh, I know when I first found your video, and you yours had been out. It, it, I think it had actually been out months before I made mine. And you had part one and part two, and I've included, I'm going to include those down in the description below. So if you haven't, if you've not seen those videos, uh, they're really a must watch. I think you need to go down and you need to take a look at those videos because, uh, you know, just your reactions, Dave, and and how you just kind of go through and break down each book as, as you get them back. Uh, it's really kind of, uh, mm -hmm. it, it's really kind of an eye opening experience. Um, well, let's kind of, I guess, let's let's kind of shift our direction toward um, CGC. 
Um, what, what do you think? Uh, you know, that there is, you know, I don't want to call it CGC bashing because um, that's really not what it is. I mean, we're just trying to, to point out things that we're seeing. These are um, it's not a one person deal. It's multiple people seeing yeah. the same things from their submissions. Uh, why do you think, Dave, mm-hmm. why do you think collectors are so committed to CGC? We have other options. I mean, there's, you know, uh, what is it? Is it PGX. That, I don't know if too many people use them. They're out on the West Coast. We've got CBCS and now PSA is coming into uh, the comic book market. It looks like in January. So what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Why are we so committed? Branding. Um, for a long time, CGC had a good reaction. Um, when you look at like mm-hmm. PGX, I mean, they, they've been known to slab restored books uh without catching yeah. inspiration um their cases are terrible um with cbcs i mean that's that's owned by beckett uh they just they don't seem to to really take market share seriously um not trying to say they're a bad company they just they wait too long to capitalize on things uh, you know, we had the slab gate, uh, just, just earlier this year. I don't really recall CBS or CBCS having, uh, much of a response to that. And even with the warped inner wells right now, they finally did put out a video, but it took them a couple of months. Um, they the did re- do a new label. Gate. Yeah. Yeah. The reholder gate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, they did put out a new, label, I mean, they may have actually, almost... I, I think they actually did things, but, but in terms of marketing, I don't think they said much. Yeah. It's, it's almost like a, like a too little too late. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's and, a, a real good description. Yeah, but uh, it's the value aspect of it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I, I recall, I don't know, it was maybe last year, but I came across a video where somebody wanted to test the uh, the signature verification. And so he just did a bogus signature on a book and sent it in. And I want to say, I think it was, well, it had had to have been CBCS because at that time, CGC it was, was not verifying signatures like they it are It was now. CBCS and, and they authenticated it. And, yeah, and I wonder how much that affected cbcs's opportunity to kind of jump in and and maybe take a bigger piece of the market share like you said away from cgc mm-hmm. what what do you think what do you and think I, this I don't is going to have a lot of people even saw that yeah yeah yeah, yeah i guess that's true I, you know i uh i do wonder about the impact on how much you know the community really sees i guess uh, um we are kind of scattered everywhere, you know, mm-hmm. like there's people on forums, there's people on YouTube, there's a huge yeah. community I know on Instagram and uh, you know, how much the community is, has kind of has that holistic knowledge. What do you think, Dave, what, what about the long-term uh, impact on the value of CGC books? Do you think this is going to, do you think this is going to affect their, their books values? Cause that's what you said. It was, this was all about value. Yeah. Um, I think, from here on out, it's going to be a game. Um, if, if you're following the thread on the CGC boards, um, the but he's been compiling basically a list of affected serial numbers uh, starting at a certain point. Oh, and wow. okay. it That's seems like idea. more and more people are now avoiding those certain serial numbers. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good for resale so, value at all. Wow. Yeah, long term. No. Well, and that's the thing. Um, if you're in the market for let's let's use ours for an example, and an ASM two fifty two, are you going to buy a nine four that's in a case and looks like ours, or are you going to spend the same money for a nine four that that looks 
perfect in the case. Yeah, th that's a no-brainer. Yeah, I, I, I know. It's it's wild. Yeah. Um, well, what are your thoughts? Are you are you are are you going to still buy CGC slabs? Well, I currently am, but it's going to be a serial number game. As someone who owns books and more dinner wells and dinner wells. So for me, it's, it's, yeah, it's going to be a serial number game. I'll still buy them, but it's, yeah. I'm going to be very picky about what I get. Yeah. I, I, I've had a lot of thoughts on this, you know, and I, my wife, you know, she's, earning her early entry into the, into heaven. Cause she has to deal with some of my crazy conversations about this. And she just, you know, she's not a, a big comic book nerd <laughs> like I am, but you know, I like, I, I talked to her and you're like, what do I do? Mm -hmm. Do I still submit my books to CGC? Um, I'm in Texas and Beckett or C CBCS is in Dallas. So I do see, you know, some cost savings there uh, by sending it up there, you know, in, in terms of shipping. And I've shared it with, uh, you know, I have a number of clients that, um, you know, they're, they're giving me books and they're wanting to, uh, um, you know, get those books sent off to uh, get graded. And I, and I'm, I tell them, you know, be careful about, um, you know, be careful about this, uh, this, this issue with CGC. Uh, so, um, Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Is this is this now an opportunity for CBCS uh, and and or PSA to jump in and 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 I don't know and, and take a, a lead over CGC in terms of getting uh, the majority of people sending off their books and getting them graded? I think it's an opportunity for any grading company, but the two that can really capitalize on it are cbcs and psa um i'm gonna give the edge to psa though i think i think people that were on the fence about whether or not to submit to psa come i believe they said sometime in january i think this was enough to to push them to psa um i think cbc to lose share the cases are better with CBCS. The labels are not. The value is not. But PSA is a long-standing name in grading, not comic grading, but grading. Mm -hmm. um, so if if anyone's gonna come out on top on this, I I really say. Yeah, I think I think you might be right. I know the reputation in the card industry is super strong. I'm just not. You know, I've I watched the videos coming out of San Diego Comic Con, and I think they were going around and they were they were they had like a rep that was literally giving their slab to to people to to vendors and asking them to comment on it. And uh, me personally, I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't care much for the label. I just thought that was a real uh, that was real off put for me. CBCS, you know, before they went to the newer label, I felt the same way. I didn't I just didn't like the look of that label. I do actually think I, I, mm -hmm. I like the CGC label the best, but I do like that little arrow uh, that they have uh, next to the grade. I, I kind of like the way that looks on the this uh, the CBCS label, but I don't, I don't know. I just, uh, yeah. I, I think I agree with you. I think PSA is, uh, they've got a real good shot at it um, to move up into that, into the, into this game. So um, I um, mentioned earlier that I, I cracked open Oh, go ahead. I'm not gonna lie. I I am really thinking about PSA submission early next year after seeing seeing the results yeah. of some other people. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, uh, where is P yeah, the PSA? Are they located in like Santa Monica or Southern California? I, th I th think is what I've heard. Is correct? Do you know? I th I think they're in California. I can't say for certain. I've I've honestly okay. I've never submitted yeah. well, anything that, that'll, to PSA. That'll so be. This, I mean, you're. I think you're located in Michigan, so that that'll be a little bit of a. I guess it's not too bad. You're yep. still centrally located mm -hmm. in terms of shipping. I mean, the distance from Michigan to Florida is.
probably going to be pretty close to even sending it to California. It's a straight shot, really. Well, my my stuff gets mm -hmm. gets down there within three days to Florida. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I cr I I couldn't stand keeping my Amazing Spider-Man two fifty two. I thought when I sent it off, I actually thought it had a shot at a nine eight. Uh, there was a color breaking spine tick on the back, and I thought, you know, maybe, you know, if if I can mm -hmm. get loose, Larry, I might I might slide through and I might get it. But as I in my video, <laughs> I showed that it came back as a nine four. It did not present as a nine four. I felt in the book, I felt it presented maybe like a, a 9.0 or maybe, maybe a 9.2 at best, but it looked terrible. But uh, I did, I, I had to crack it. I had to crack it open and um, I've pulled it out and I can show it to you in a second, but I did discover some things because I've cracked open quite a few books um, to do some, uh, you know, crack, press and resubmit uh, opportunities. And what I noticed is the, the slab reacted totally different than what I had done before. I, I did drill out one corner and I've noticed that now it looks like the inner well mm -hmm. is larger than it used to be. Like it expands all the way to the edge. And once I got this corner out, I put my screwdriver under like I normally do. And I used to just be able to go right along the seam and pop it. And I did not have that, that experience at all. You can see, let's see if I can get it in the camera. It just, the thing just fell apart. Um, like peanut brittle. It just, just broke into pieces and uh, it was really a mess. And I know I charge, I think I charge, I think I might charge as little as $5 extra uh, to a client to pop open, you know, to, to crack their book open. I might have to <laughs> increase that mm -hmm. because it was a lot of work and uh, it was, right. I, I felt, I felt it was really risky work. Um, here's the book and I've kept it still in, the inner well and i'll try to hold it up there and i still can see a little bit of a bow in it um i think maybe it might that the bow might be mm -hmm. more prevalent Same. there we go that's definitely more prevalent like that and i don't wonder if that's just the weight um what i noticed though is the back of the well is just not as uh sturdy as it used to be the plastic i felt was stronger uh it, it was able to hold the weight of the book inside and i feel like this doesn't the, the new one or whatever they're doing now doesn't and and it literally i can kind of pop it mm -hmm. and it makes kind of like a popping sound and i, I can feel it popping yeah. from when my hands on the bottom of it but um but yeah it, it, there's no doubt it that i feel that whatever they did it definitely put a lot more uh, stress on the spine and it brought back i had repaired some little minor spine ticks but uh, a couple of them I, I think now have gotten their hair their little hairline color breaks but they've gotten a lot worse um since it was slab or since i sent mm -hmm. it off and uh this is a book i've owned this i think i mentioned in my video i actually own this since i was a kid and uh my brother and i collected books and we read a lot of our books very heavily, like, uh, you know, Transformers 1 was one that we had. And uh, G.I. Joe, I think it's 21, the silent mm -hmm. issue. We read the crap out of it. But this was one we didn't. And so I was really uh, looking forward to maybe possibly getting, uh, I was hoping maybe a 9.6. I thought it would be a fair grade uh, or maybe even get that 9.8, but alas. So I'm going to pop it open and try to redo yeah. it. Um so um, I don't know, Dave, I get this a lot, uh, you know, on the video that I posted, uh, you know, I have a, a lot of comments in there and I, I want I don't want to say it's a majority of the comments I get, but maybe it's a majority of the commenters say something to the effect of our slabs. They say they're scam and they say slabs are a scam. Say, you know, like, ha ha, it's kind of like, ha, 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 you should know better. You got it slabbed and, you know, sla all <laughs> slabs are a scam. What do you think about yeah. that? You, you think that? They're right. I, I don't think slabs are a scam, but everyone's going to have their own opinion. Um, I like raw and I like slabs. I like them both. Um, I think slabbing has brought more people to the hobby. Um, it's, it's brought, I guess you could say, more investors into the hobby. Um, I mean, if you think it's a, yeah, don't, don't, you don't have to, 
it's just personal preference. But I, I don't think it's a scam. You know, I mean, mm. there's people that say grading in general is a scam. Grading cards is a scam. Um, grading is a, you, you could do that for anything. It's just preference. Some people enjoy yeah. it and some don't. And if you don't enjoy it, yeah. then... Um, I, I like the slabs. I like I like the way they feel in my hand, and I like to I like to have the books out mm -hmm. and display them. I, I feel like that's one of the drawbacks for me having books raw, and I and I've got a lot of them. You know, they're just kind of tucked tucked away in boxes, and and I just kind of feel like mm -hmm. be nice to be able to show them off. My goal now as a collector is I'm trying to I want to liquidate down my collection and to to sell them and and then just try to upgrade to the these big keys and just have maybe 50 big keys or or maybe even less um but you know i, I you know, i'm 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 getting up i'm kind of getting up there in age and I, I you know i worry about leaving you know if i were to kick the bucket and and leave all the you know all these books for my wife to have to deal with and my kids um it'd be nice to have fewer that they you know i could just okay you guys are going to get this these four you want these you want these and uh seems like that would would work well um you know for some people it's it's protecting their investment um it's a lot easier to value a slabbed book than it is a raw book um sorry my cat um and that's the thing that's that's, that's what i think about sometimes is you know when 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 i'm gone and I'm pretty sure my wife's gonna outlive me, but when I'm gone, it'll be easier for her to not get taken advantage of when she's selling my stuff, like my comics, mm -hmm. if they're graded. That's easier to research and figure out value on. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, uh, and you know, like I know I, I watch a lot of uh, just throwing another big YouTuber out there. I watched a lot of Bryce comics videos I, i'm not sure if you've seen some of his but he advertises that he'll offer 60 percent of fair market value uh, for the book you know and that's that's not too bad and he's buying you know huge collections mm -hmm. from people that have a lot of slab books so i i guess for somebody that's kind of aging out and they want to I mean, liquidate their collection that, that's it is positive to have them in slabs Yeah, well, and that's the thing. I mean, what a what a lot of people got to realize is when they their collections or books, if they go to a reseller or a dealer, the dealer's got to make money. I mean, that's their business. So expect yeah. around fifty percent of FMB FMV. They they can't pay you eighty or ninety percent. They got to be able to make money. Mm -hmm. No, I know. And, and then even the amount of time, if you want to try to get, you know, more the amount of time that it takes to post something on eBay mm -hmm. or Macari, uh, it's, it's mm -hmm. pretty time consuming. And, you know, I have a number of books up right yeah. now on Macari and I'm not sure if you're aware of this, Dave, but Macari is now shifted all the seller fees to the buyer. And so like, if you're a seller, you, you know, whatever you put it for, you're going to get that full amount. And you're not going to pay any fees, oh, wow. which is great for the seller. But I don't none of the yeah. books are moving. I mean, nobody's buying books. And then when I get people interested in some of the books I've got up, I mean, it's it's almost an embarrassing lowball. They're like, uh, you know, like, for example, I've got a, a New Mutants 98 up there right now. And I had it priced at 325. And I thought that was a pretty good price, given that you we were right off in you know, the movie. And I think Deadpool's really making a step up in terms of his popularity mm -hmm. in, in, in Marvel. And I got somebody, hey, would you take 200 bucks for it? You know, it's like, you know, like, you know, man, you know, that's, you're not even in the ballpark. <laughs> so it's really, yeah, it's bizarre, yeah. bizarre, you know? So um, you mentioned to me, uh, I think just yesterday, this video was released that Swaggle House put out another video and it had CBCS's response to, um, to the whole, you know, this uh, inner well crisis. What uh, What do you think of that? What uh, tell us about the video? Did Did you check it out? 
I guess you did because you told me. <laughs> Banana Man number one. I sure did. <laughs> Banana Man number one. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's I thought good. the response was, yeah, I thought the response was was pretty good. Yeah, it was hilarious. Um, I mean, I, I'm sure that would be enough to persuade some people to submit to CBCS now. Yeah, I hope so. I thought it was really clever, uh, brilliant, really brilliant marketing idea on their end. I just hope they leave it in the case. I hope they didn't crack it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, they should. They should leave it in the case. And then when they go to shows, they should, you know, proudly present it in the back. I bet the value of Banana Man number one. Have it on <laughs> Uh, as it deter as it deteriorates, yeah. it's, it's going to get uh, more and more valuable as it moves along in, in time. So, oh. so, uh, so That's what do you hilarious. think, Dave? Are you truly done with CGC for good, or um, are, are you not? I know you mentioned that you still are a buyer of slabs, um, but uh, is this whole thing soured you so much that you're you're done with CGC? I am still a buyer of CGC graded books, but like I said, it's it's a serial number game. Um, am I done mm. with CGC for good? I can't say for certain. I am currently done with them. Um, it's really going to depend on whether or not they fix this issue and what they offer those of us who sent them books that have books that are now affected by this issue. It, it's going to depend yeah. on a lot of factors. Um, so, I mean, if, if they don't, if I don't like how they handle this whole th thing, then they won't see any more of my money. Yeah, I think it'd be nice. Uh, really, they probably should do something as great. This is pie in the sky. I don't know if I doubt they would do this, but it, you know, it'd be nice if they offered uh, all this affected, maybe a free membership for another year or, or something uh, or some type of compensation for the books that we were sent in or refund or certainly refund the grading fees uh, that, that we paid. I, they, well, Dave, do you have any need to do oh. to make this right, in my opinion? Um, yeah. I, th I think we're lagging a little any bit. Any suggestions or any thoughts um, on what they could do? Really? What my Well, they're not going to do it, but my, my suggestion is any of anyone who submitted books to CGC that has that still has those books and they're the original submitter should be allowed to, once this right. is taken care of, send them back for free regret well, free press, regrade, press, and yeah. reholder. But I, I don't yeah. see that happening because of how large scale this really is. Yeah, I just have no idea. It's got to be it's got to be thousands of books. I, I I have no real idea what their volume is like, but it's got to be in the. I mean, maybe tens in the of order thousands, of, yeah. ten, tens of thousands of books. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's scary. It's a scary thought, isn't it? Wow. Wow. Well, uh, Dave, well, do you have any yeah, advice? And that's the thing. Oh. Um, well, I was going to say, the, the boards and Instagram and YouTube is such a small portion of the actual collecting community. I think it's larger scale than anyone even realizes. Yeah, I think you might be right. I really do. Um, it's a, it's re it's really it's really bad. It's it's really bad. I mean, it's bad for everybody across the board. Uh, I mean, I think they realize how bad it is for them, but uh, the for the community, I mean, it really puts you in a bind if you're out there looking for a book. Yeah, I don't because I can I can you know I I've got a number of presses and I and I I like to I just like to work on my own books. I I don't buy anything that's already graded uh, well unless i'm going to do a uh you know crack press and resubmit type of situation but but i i rarely buy yeah slab books I, I like to try to buy them raw and then work on them and then 
see if I can build up the equity of, of the book. But uh, yeah, this is really scary. Dave, do you have any advice yeah. uh, for collectors out there on, on how to navigate this issue? It depends on the type of collector. If you are a collector that likes getting graded books, um, then I would pay attention to serial numbers. Um, I would definitely check out the thread on the CGC boards. And if you are someone that was interested in getting some of your books graded with CGC, don't wait. Wait and see what happens. Yeah. Because well, right now uh, it's, you mentioned newsstand nine point or nine point eight, and I know that's what he's doing. Is waiting. Yeah, I think that's good advice. Um, just certainly hold off. But the the real issue is how mm. are we going to know when this is resolved? That's that's you know another consideration because um, CGC doesn't really want to point too much. You know, I mean, they've got their own issues. They, yeah, I think when we had that, weren't they, they just, didn't they just have a lawsuit? Somebody, I thought somebody sued them recently and it was a multi-million dollar lawsuit. And then with yes. the Holder Gate, they've had some issues where they've had to pay a lot of lawyer fees. So they've been, they've been, mm -hmm. they've, they've been spending some money lately. Yeah. Their losses are, are continuing to pile up. And my concern is that with every other scandal and issue they're having i i'm worried it's going to affect how they res respond to all of this in the end yeah because it's a numbers game it's a money game it's a profit game for that them is, that is true no doubt you know uh going back to that swaggle house video you know he uh i think C cbcs if you haven't seen the video go check it out but on instagram cbcs has They've taken a banana and they slabbed it and they go, you know, they pull it out and they go, no, no bends here. Is that what they said? No bends in this one. Something, maybe something to that effect. I can't recall. But Swaggle House then mentions, you know, the, <laughs> yeah. you know, banana yeah. gate or ban the mm -hmm. banana bends. And I think, David, it was you in your video, you know, you, there you have this moment and I think it's video number two when you go, this is just unfucking acceptable. And this is, bent is. like a fucking banana. And uh, so I think you deserve the credit as being the person that originated the uh, the banana. Yeah, it was for this, uh, for this scandal. Yeah, so. in the in the All second right. video, it was uh, quote bold like a fucking banana. <laughs> there you go. That was it. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, um, yeah. Um, Thanks, Dave, for being here. Um, you know, appreciate your time, and I think you've really shed a lot of light on this uh, this subject. And uh, we'll have to do another one of these kind of videos, maybe uh, somewhere down the road. Uh, maybe not necessarily tied in here with uh, CGC and this scandal, but uh, it was great interviewing you, and I appreciate your uh, feedback and your knowledge. Mm -hmm. And thank you. All right, everybody, uh, that's going to be a wrap. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. We appreciate you being here. Uh, Dave616, uh, he's also known as Make Room Collectibles. Check him out over on Instagram. And uh, you're on, uh, you know, you've obviously got a YouTube channel. Uh, do you have a Facebook page or you just pretty much just on yep. inst Instagram? Uh, just Instagram and YouTube. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We appreciate you being here. We hope you enjoyed this uh, in-depth discussion about the uh, the CGC Banana Gate or the Banana Bends. Uh, so uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate your time. Uh, get out there and find those books. And as I always Thank you. finish it off, get out there and, and happy hunting, finding those books. So thanks for tuning in.